Good morning, boys and girls. Today, our objective is to write the sum of unit fractions for a fraction. Okay, so we are going to decompose this fraction here into unit fractions first. Okay, if uh, you remember, unit fractions means one, so it would be one fifth because the denominator stays the same plus one fifth plus one fifth <clears throat> plus one fifth that should give me one two three four which is the numerator and the five stays the same because that is the denominator now what is equivalent to this this is the unit fractions but you can also say if I take these two right here and make that add those two fractions I can have two fifths plus you can take these two and make that two fifths that is still equivalent to four fifths right up there so two plus two fifths equals four fifths okay it's that simple now it could work in any order for example <clears throat> if I did four fifths again and I decomposed it one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth I got it I have to decompose it first okay just like up here, I, I did the one fifth plus one fifth to make two fifths, and one, one fifth plus, plus one fifth to make another two fifths, and that still gave me four fifths. They were equivalent. These two are equivalent to that, okay? When you combine it. All right, so the next step is to, let's see if we can do that a different, a different sum. So instead of the two that I, I combined over here, I'm going to combine three. These three right here. So one, two, and three. Here I have three fifths. What's left over? The one fifth. So three plus one fifth is still the same as four and four over five. Okay, boys and girls, this is how you find the sum of unit fractions decomposing a fraction. So to decompose means you're going to write them as unit fractions, and then to write a sum is write a sum of your decomposed fraction. Okay? So remember, boys and girls, have stay fantastic today, tomorrow, and forever.